that's not how it's supposed to be done. No, I let go of it and uh, it did a fall. Well, the rain has finally ceased. Uh, we got three or four days of rain, so now we can get back to work. So yesterday I started building the arch for the back. Um, got the two outside pieces and the vertical piece. I didn't have time to finish the diagonals. It'll look the same as the one on the front, but we're gonna get it installed today so we can attach the posts and beams to the house. And then we're gonna start building the porch. So we gotta attach two by eights to the trusses and then we have to build our rafters, which will be out of two by tens or two by twelves. I can't remember for sure, but we got those. So we're gonna throw up the two by eights, then we'll throw up that archway, and then we can measure for our rafters, get those cut, and start getting this thing put together and make it look like a porch. Okay, so we got the beam up there. We put this two by four into the wall and that's holding up this side. Then we're taking it out to get it level. And now we can fasten it in and use the brackets that we bought. Okay, so we're using these Simpson uh, strong tie joist hangers. And I just go up there and then we can nail them in. can't have nice things. Demolition man up here. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now we can Go do the other three that we have to do, and then put the archway on. Well, it's the next morning. So as you can see, those are our middle beams, and that's our other end beam. So we got all the beams up yesterday. So the next step is we have to hang a two by eight uh, along the trusses, because that's what our rafters will die into, and that's what they'll hang on. So um, I think they're 16 footers, which is gonna be, Kind of tough by myself because uh, my help is not here yet i'm trying to get started early so we can make some progress today so uh we'll see if i can set the ladder up uh get one of those up there set it up and then uh fasten it in we'll run those all the way across and then we from there we can take our angle for the rafters because um, we'll have to custom cut those because like i said in the previous video uh this porch is all 
custom and not part of the plans, so we're kind of having to figure it out as we go. But I'll pull one of those out, see if I can't get it installed there by myself, and if I can, I'll work across, and then uh, then we can take the measurements, and hopefully, hopefully, my goal today, if we can do it, actually it's my goal whether we can do it or not, but is to get all the rafters up uh, and the archway here we got to get up and then possibly purlins but if we get all the rafters up i'll be a happy camper literally a camper because we live in a camper Gosh dang it. Would have helped if I brought a drill to screw this thing in. All right, that should stay there. Intermission. Okay. Put a battery in it, I just left it on my bench. I need a hammer. All right, take three. Okay, so we got, how many we got up there? Three of them up there so far. Uh, I must have fat fingered the GoPro and it didn't record. So we just got one more to do. We got to get it cut down to 188 and three quarter. And then we can throw that one up there and then we'll be done with this part that we can measure for our rafters. Let's see how this DJI camera works. Let's see if it falls off the beam. It falls. We just do durability testing around here. <laughs> what do you think, Tina? All right, let's get this show on the road. I ain't getting any younger. I guess. We gotta take a sneeze break. Good lord.
Durability test. Is that the wind? It must, have must be, yeah, because you didn't hit it. I was wondering that because the tripod is. See, is it still recording? Yes. Oh my gosh, broken. Uh oh. Is it? No. I don't see a scratch on it. That's durability for you right there. Durability there. test number one, the DJI Pass. Dur durability test number two is putting it in the blades of the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> a, GoPro is not, a GoPro has not made it through the lawnmower or the disc mulcher yet. We'll see if the DJI can. I think that's good enough. All right, get this over. Where's the next screws going? Right there. All right. Yeah. You know what? It wasn't. It was uh, facing up, so it was recording. You know, it was around. Perfect. Okay, we got all the two by eights up. Next up, we're gonna put the uh, A-frame archway thingy. Uh, we'll get that up. So I'll carry both ends up, and then we'll stand it up, fasten them together. And it should go fairly easy, because we got an extra hand here. Okay, so as you saw, we got the arch in, uh, and it's really bright. But uh, next step, we have to add this nailer to the house. So we're gonna have to make our uh, rafters. They're kind of gonna look like trusses, but only half of a truss. So we need something to fasten into. So we snapped the chalk line all the way across. It's hard to see here because it's underneath that board. Uh, that's a two by eight. We'll run it across. We'll skip the middle because um, we don't need one there because we're going to go up with our metal above the door and have, that'll be a vaulted ceiling. So we'll run this across and then we can start hanging our two by sixes and then build our rafters. But I don't think I have enough two by sixes, so I'm not going to be able to get as far as I wanted to today, but we'll get this nailer up there. We'll get the two by sixes that I have up there and then maybe we can cut some rafters so we can see what it looks like. Good. 
Ya. Box, I don't think because they don't even hit. Yeah. I didn't think so. I mean, it might hit a little bit, but the LVL goes down to there. So. Okay. You want to screw it in or you want me to screw it in? I don't think I can let it go, it might break that up at the top. Isn't that a saw? What? Let it go! All the kids used to say. You're winning the hearts of young, young little kids who like Frozen. Acapella. Meanwhile, my arm is about ready to fall off. Hopefully Dan's daughter likes Frozen because I gotta work on her to get in the mood out here. Is that alright? She doesn't like the channel? No, she does. Break our windows now. Are you hmm. a little slanted, but
push it. Is that on the edge over there? Huh? On the edge, what do you mean? Like that beam. No, it's short, like an inch or two. Okay. step down. We're making progress today. If only we didn't get 85 straight days of rain last week. Why is there a ratchet strap holding that up there? What is that? Uh, it's, so it's holding our entire building together. Is that right? You take that down, the whole thing will fall over. Hmm. Wondering why I'm standing here then. Because the ratchet strap is still there. Okay, well, we did not get as far as we wanted to yesterday. As far as I wanted to yesterday. I don't know about anybody else. They might have had a different idea, but... <laughs> um, I went and got the boards that we needed this morning at Lowe's uh, and I've been working out here this morning. It's early afternoon now, trying to figure this out, uh, figure out the angles and figure out how we're gonna do it. So we got two rafters up. We're doing a two by six across and a two by 10 up. So two of them are up and I have one more cut over there. I just have another one cut. That was the wrong one. Cut that one wrong. We had our angle wrong the first time. So I got this one, I'm gonna get it tossed up there and I'll show you how we're installing them. Um, because we're not gonna run all the way across cause that's gonna be vaulted in the middle. Um, we're doing our roof rafters, trusses, whatever you wanna call them at 45 inches on center. Um, so we'll have eight on this side and six on the other side, 14 total. And then in the center it'll be vaulted and that'll be a whole That'll be a whole nother thing and not in this video. Um, but I'll get this one tossed up there and we can kind of see how it all goes together. That's not how it's supposed to be done. No, I let go of it and uh, it did a fall. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, it didn't break. That's good. That means it's strong. I turn away for one second. Yep. It's a little loose there, but that's fine.
Okay, so this joist hanger is just going to go up here. Like this. Okay, so that's all there is to it on the house side. Um, we have the two by 10 and the two by six attached with just some blocking here. You probably saw it on the other side. Um, that's just gonna hold them together. And then it's also getting a nail through the top of the two by 10 into the two by six. Uh, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I'm not worried about it. I do have some Simpson brackets, um, Simpson strong tie brackets that I might uh, put on here as well. I got some extra ones. Um, so I'll put them on right there. That'll hold that together as well and not have any issues. Um, and then on the end, I'll climb down and I'll show you how we're gonna attach it on the other side. Okay, so on this side, I don't know how the heck. Let's see, can I set this down? Yeah, that'll work. You can't see me, but you can see this. So we got another Simpson bracket. So what I'm gonna do is just lay it flat here and attach it like this because that's just gonna hold it in place. Um, I'm not too worried about it from here because it's all gonna have purlins attached to it. And then uh, for our soffits, we're gonna run a two by six out, 10 and a half inches. And then same thing on the house, we'll run our two by six fascia board and that'll give us one foot overhangs on the porch. And then it'll all, all line up. So, um, I have to measure this side and get these ones attached. But as you can see, we're starting to get somewhere. So I got to work down. I got, uh, this is three. We got eight, eight on this side. So I got five more here and then we got six on the other side. So I'll have to get those built uh, and get those installed. But, um, Probably won't be this video. I was hoping to be farther along, but such is life. Um, and it took longer to figure that out because like I said before, we don't have any plans for the porch. It's all custom and we're figuring it out as we go. So, um, but we're getting there. So next video, we'll get this thing hopefully buttoned up. We'll get the rest of the uh, rafters on. We'll get the purlins on, we'll get the sheathing on. We got to do some special stuff here and frame out this uh, A-frame back to the house. So anyway, that's where we'll leave this one. And you cannot see me. There you go. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Where were you when we did the trusses, Crane?